Hello all, welcome to Tech with Chess. In this video, we are going to compare IBM MQ and Apache Kafka. Both are utilized uh, for the asynchronous event processing, right? So whenever we have to uh, do some processing asynchronously, then either uh, we can use the MQ or Apache Kafka. So in this uh, video, we will compare like a few key features uh, that uh, are very important whenever you have to decide that uh, in your in your application or uh, in your product, what kind of capabilities you need so that you are able to choose between these two. So let's start uh, comparing the uh, first functionality that is the send and receive functionality of uh, the MQ and Apache Kafka. So if you uh, see either MQ or Kafka, both have the uh, producer and a consumer. Producer is an application that produces the message and uh, put into the queue or topic, right? So queue is utilized uh, for the uh, MQs and topic uh, is utilized or uh, used in the Apache Kafka. So if you see the MQ, right? So whenever a producer produces a message, it's sent to the queue and from the uh, queue, the consumer can read the message and process it, right? This is the basic functionality of uh, receiving and sending in the MQ. Uh, in terms of Kafka, the technology, I mean, the way is almost similar. So in Apache Kafka, also producer will uh, produce a message and consumer uh, will going to uh, consume the message uh, from the topic. The key difference here is that in MQ, the message is just read once and destroyed. But in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, when we talk about Kafka, in Kafka it is stored or persisted for some time, right? So it depends upon your uh, requirement. So Kafka won't destroy the message immediately; it will store it for some time, right? So now. Let's understand the uh, broadcasting functionality uh, difference between the Apache Kafka and MQ. So in MQ, uh, for example, uh, here we can see that we have a producer and we have a queue which has uh, three consumers, right? So uh, whenever a producer is uh, producing any message and putting into a queue, so any consumer uh, will be able to pick the, pick the message and process it once, right? That is the broadcasting way uh in the mq when we talk about the kafka so kafka will be having i mean uh so in mq right only one consumer can consume the message right but in the kafka uh the same message can be consumed by the multiple consumer groups of consumers right so here you can see that we have uh, three consumer groups like one two and three and all of them can read the or process the same message right so it's not like that uh, only one uh, consumer uh, can process the message only once, right? So they can uh, basically, one message can be read by multiple consumers in Kafka, okay? So uh, let's uh, see the next uh, uh, feature, that is message ordering. So in uh, MQ, there is no ordering maintained as such. So for example, if you have one message uh, sent uh, to the uh, consumer one uh, for processing and is successful, then suppose you have message two uh, sent uh, to the consumer two and something happened, maybe uh, some issue happened and it is it is failed, right? Uh, then, and but at the same time, whenever message three comes out and it is processed by the consumer three. So you can see that message, message three has been processed, but message two is still pending, right? It might be picked up by another consumer and it may process later, but the ordering is not maintained. But uh, when we talk about the uh, Apache uh, Kafka, in Kafka, what happens that we have some partitions, right? So here you can see that you have, uh, we have like these uh, two consumer groups and we have a uh, uh, partition in the topic itself. So this topic has uh, two partition and uh, they are, there are two consumers listening to the each partition. So, any message which is going uh, to be read uh, by the consumer group will be read from the partition assigned to it, right? So that's how the Kafka is able to maintain 
uh, maintain uh, the sequencing or ordering of the messages, right? So uh, in 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 uh, in Kafka, we have uh, partitions in each topic, and each topic uh, has assigned consumer. Uh, that's why it is able to internally maintain the order of the messages being processed. Next, uh, replay of messages, right? So as we know that in MQ, the message which is produced by producer is just uh, read once by the consumer and it is not stored, right? So there is no question of uh, being replayed, right? So once uh, processing is successful, you are not able to again replay the same message or process it. But in Kafka, you are able to replay because what is happening in Kafka that you are storing a message in the topic. So suppose you want to uh, again process a uh, process, uh, message. So you know it's uh, sequence number or some, some unique identifier. Uh, from that, you will again read the message from topic and process it. So there is a, a replay capability in Kafka, but which is not present in the MQ. So now let's see the consumable limit, right? So in MQ, there is no consumable limit. So uh, any number of consumers uh, will be able uh, will be able to basically consume messages from the queue. Uh, there is no limit as such. So whenever this message is produced from the uh, MQ, it can be read by any other any any consumer in the uh, in the whole configuration, right? But when I talk about the Kafka, so Kafka Kafka will be having as many as consumers, uh, same as the number of partitions, right? So here we can see that we have uh, two partitions. So uh, we can have only uh, two consumers here. So that is basically a uh, limit on the consumers, right? So suppose you want to add one more consumer into this configuration, uh, but uh, that will not be able to process messages because uh, the limit is assigned, right? So here you can see, uh, that we have a, a consumer group three, but it's not assigned to any partition because there's a limit. Uh, there's a limit uh, in Kafka that uh, the number of partitions are equal to the number of consumers. So that's why uh, you cannot. I mean, there's a limit in the in the consumers itself, right? So yeah. So I think uh, thank you for watching uh, this video, and see you next time. I just made a very small video about this Apache Kafka versus MQ, uh, just comparing the, the key features. Uh, but if you want the uh, like a very uh, a comprehensive video, I can also uh, prepare that I'll also upload it. Yeah, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, please leave comments or questions. Uh, please subscribe as well. Thank you.